the game against uh, Ohio State, um, team that's in some ways similar to ours. I think uh, a lot of balanced scoring. Uh, Bates Diop is a lot like Dante, a, a big, big guy that can really shoot from the perimeter that uh, handles it well and uh, has the ball in his hands a lot. Jay Sean Tate, I think, is a is a really powerful player and a guy who can drive it and score, and rebounds the fire out of the ball, and and uh, you know is a guy that really makes a lot of big plays for those guys. Um, big guy inside Wesson, young freshman, very talented, unbelievable hands, six nine, two seventy, uh, great feet. I just think they're a, they're a very good team. Um, Jackson at the point has played very well to start the season as scoring. Um, I think that's been a nice surprise for them. And so uh, Chris does a very good job, you know, defensively. They're very, very solid. They rebound the fire out of the ball, hard to hard to score against. Um, so, you know, you'll see a, a team that's going to gonna have a good season this year and is off to a, a pretty good start. Obviously, I know they're disappointed the way the Butler game got away from them, but they played well uh, in the three games over there in the uh, PK-80. Uh, beating Stanford and losing in a, in a competitive game with Gonzaga. So, um, you know, we're excited to get back out and play. It should be a, a very good challenge for us in a, in a good environment. Does this feel like a kind of a primer for the ACC? A little bit. I mean, it's just, you know, it's another game against good competition. Um, certainly, you know, you don't have as many true road games in the non-conference um, anymore. You can play a lot of neutrals and, and – uh, you know, some home games. And so this is going to be one of those kind of games where you go into somebody's arena and, you know, they'll have a good crowd and, and uh, be ready to play. So it'll be a little bit like a, an ACC road game in a lot of ways, yeah. You were able to beat Nebraska last year in the ACC Big Ten Challenge. How, how much do you think your players take pride in that? Well, I don't know that they remember it a lot, to be honest with you. Um, I, I think it was a good win for our team. It was a competitive game. It was a close game that we happened to win early that, um, you know, I thought really helped build some momentum for our team. But um, at this point, every year is new, and, and uh, this is a completely different kind of game that we're going to play. Um, but certainly it's, you know, again, it's a very competitive team that, that will challenge us physically um, because of their size and their physicality. There are two losses, the one to Butler and then the one to Gonzaga. Two different games totally for them, but was there yeah. any common thread in it? Or? Not really. They really outplayed Butler. Uh, you know, and just didn't handle the ball very well, you know, in the last five minutes and, and obviously lost the lead. But um, this time of year that happens a little more because it's, it's you know, you just haven't done it as much. Um, you know, but I thought they played very well. They were uh, – Butler was really having a hard time scoring against them. Gonzaga is just so big physically. Right. Um, they're just, you know – they are just a big, strong, physical team, and they had a guard that was really shooting the ball deep and making big shots um, to allow them to kind of pull away. But I think their size um, was a was a big factor in the game. Um, we're not that big um, by any stretch, and uh, there aren't that many teams that are. So I don't really think there was a lot of similarities to the game. I thought, you know, again, I think Ohio State played well against Gonzaga for you know about 25 minutes, and then Gonzaga pulled away. And then, to be honest with you, I thought Ohio State outplayed Butler, but just uh, you know, wasn't able to finish the game. I know part of the process of going through the non-conference is kind of learning those guys that you're really going to lean on during the league season. Yeah. For, so for, for you, is, the, is this a, a chance to kind of maybe test some of those theories out? Yeah, a little bit. I think we're just always, um, you know, you're always trying to figure out who plays best with whom and, and what lineups and you're tested, you know, um, Ohio State's a team that they've shown they'll play very big and have a big lineup out there and, you know, tremendous size and physicality. But they can also downsize, and they kind of move Diop almost to the five uh, and Tate to the four. And now they're a small lineup with, you know, five guys that can play on the perimeter and drive you and, and do different things. And so, you know, I think it's one of those games that strategically there will be different times in the game where you'll be playing – different types of lineups. You'll have small guys out there at certain parts of the game, and you'll have big physical lineups out there to try to match them at times. Um, what that does is it, it tests your bench and the quality of your, your, your bench play. And I think that's, you know, that's an area where we have got to continue to improve. 
our young players have got to continue to develop and play better. And, you know, especially with uh, David Scarra not being with us right now, um, that's an, you know, we're losing out on an experienced older player that physically can match up to these, these level of athletes. You are so distributing the ball a lot better this season. Have you noticed a difference in the cohesiveness of your team this year versus last year? Uh, you know, I don't know cohesiveness. I, and, you know, I thought we, we were okay distributing it last year. I, I do think we, uh, we have more guys that are probably looking to make plays. And so we're probably, you know, looking for more different guys. There were certainly times in games last year that we were definitely moving the ball around to get it to Jerron um, in certain situations. And, uh, you know, for this year's team, I think it'll be different in different games. I don't know that it'll just be Dante or Gabe or Mark. It'll be based on what game, you know, what we see in terms of game planning and then also who's playing well. Um, but I do like the way and th this team is sharing the ball. We can continue to get better because we're turning the ball over too much. Um, that's been a disappointment, to be honest with you. It's probably a major area of concern offensively. Just you know, we're trying to play faster at times, and we've continued to play faster. But last year's team was much more efficient. Last year's team was, you know, efficiency-wise, I think we were maybe top 25 in the country um, in terms of the points we scored, shooting percentage, and turnovers when, when you factored in everything. Um, so while we weren't maybe a team that averaged 85 points a game, we were unbelievably efficient playing at 75 points a game. and. Uh, you know, this year's team, we're still trying to play faster, faster, but we're probably turning the ball over too much. And some of it has happened while we're trying to play fast. And so, you know, there's a, a point in the game where we've got to understand we want to attack, but we've got to make better decisions. We, we've lost some advantage situations in games. I think I don't think we've been very good in two-on-ones, three-on-twos at times. Uh, we've had some costly turnovers where we've been able to, could have been able to pull away even easier from some games and haven't done that. but. Um, you know, we're still going to try to get it out and go when we can because I think it's it's the best way for us to play. Will he uh, be available today? Or, yeah, he's going to try to practice today. Hopefully he's going to, you know, be fine and, and he'll be ready to go tomorrow. But, uh, you know, he hasn't practiced the last two days and we'll have to wait and see how that goes. Eli scored uh, another career high on Friday and, and he's posted at least 17 and 15 and twice in the last week is the first since Booker to do that. How good can he be if he can stay on the floor and out of foul trouble? Uh, he's a talented guy. Uh, there's no question. He's got good skills and, you know, um, we felt like in the Texas Southern game that we could get him the ball in very good position and we did. Um, it'll be much more difficult in this game uh, in terms of the kind of defense that they're going to play. and. Uh, physicality and nature of their players. Um, having said that, I think Eli is a good player. He's a guy that, um, you know, when he's right, he's he's very good. He's hard to handle. He can finish plays. He can do a lot of different things. I think he's gaining confidence, which is good to see. And he's playing better in terms of uh, defensive habits. Um, but he's going to be fully tested in this game. Uh, Ohio State is big, strong, have multiple guys that can play inside. Um, and they do a very good job defensively, so it'll be very difficult to have those similar type numbers. Coach uh, <clears throat> Coach Holtman obviously took over for Thad Mata. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes when you take over a new team, as you know, it, it can be a struggle trying to incorporate your personnel into your style of play. How do you think he's handled that so far? I think he's done great. And, uh, you know, I, I think that uh, that's part of what coaching is, is taking the guys you, you got and figuring out the best way to play with them. And I think he's doing that, you know, very well. Um, defensively, I think they're extremely well positioned and competitive and good individual defenders and they mix in some zone um, to keep you off balance. And then offensively, I think he's playing through his best players. And, uh, you know, I think those guys are playing pretty well. I certainly have responded to his coaching, which isn't a surprise. I've known Chris a long time. He's a good friend of mine and, and he's a guy that uh, I think will do a great job there.